so folks, what a great time I had. I went up to the mountains with my daughter. I was going to shoot a video and she wanted to come along. So here we are. This is just above my house actually. To the left is where I live and straight ahead is actually Los Angeles. So our first knife that we're looking at is this Remington and this is a uh, I have a whole bunch of Remingtons and they're all, they all have these Delrin handles and they're all made by Camillus and they are incredible. The fit and finish of these, the blade, the tightness, all that, these are all really well-made knives. So if you're a fan of any of these patterns, I highly suggest that you get these. They're selling on eBay typically for around 40 to $50. I am not kidding. Um, even lower. Uh, you could possibly get that one for $32. Here's another one. And they have incredible designs because these are the Remington designs. So here's one that looks like a Texas toothpick, but it's actually for fishing. And that in section is used for removing the hook. So just a really cool design. I, I don't know another knife company that makes one of those. I think K-Bar made one back in the 60s that had something like that. can't quite remember. But uh, the walk and talk of those knives are really great. And here's another one. This is Old Hickory. And these were made, I believe, by Queen back in the 70s. Um, take a look at this master blade. It is gorgeous. Just beautiful. It is really thick. It is really well profiled. The walk and talk is amazing on these. Now this is a brand new knife, but you can tell it's got a little bit of patina. I have not over cleaned this knife. So again, you can go to eBay and make a bid on that one. Um, I actually have the starting price on that pretty high. It's just too amazing of a knife. I'll keep it myself. It is just incredible. And here's another one. This is a rather large Remington. And all these are on eBay right now. Just go below, click on that link, put a dream bid on it. You could get this knife for 30 two dollars guys made by Camillus in the USA back in the 90s it's incredible you're not gonna be able to you can't get a knife like this today they just don't make them it's just too expensive all that takes a lot of hand finishing here's the buck tool now that I'm not gonna bust it out but that actually made knife of the year and uh, they only produced it for one year due to the cost but in 1996, it actually won Knife of the Year and uh, so because it was just an incredible knife. Ooh, here's an ulcer. This knife is so well built, guys. It's brand new. Oh, it's just beautiful. I believe that one was made in the 70s also. Bone handle, <clears throat> just so overbuilt. Just a great knife and it has really nice pull. So if you were going to get it for your child or your young one, it's a knife that they could actually handle because it's an appropriate Boy Scout knife. Um, the Boy Scout knives were made where, you, where a smaller child or a smaller young person could pull out the blade easier. That's a fishing knife. It actually weighs the fish, kills the fish, cleans the fish, descales the fish. Made by Puma back in the 70s. This knife has a broken blade, but you can, uh, it's just a great display piece. If anything, you got a, a head knocker with that Puma. One of the most beautiful cell knives I've owned. This is a 1996 uh, Bulldog Sunfish. Beautiful knife. Look how the sun hits that. Just great. Mm. Got my coffee here. This was a uh, this is a case knife. It's perfect. Uh, flush in all positions. This thing is custom uh, fit and finish. I It was straight from my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so I'll just cut to the horrible audio that I had before. And you can hit listen to me babble. And some car comes skidding around the corner. That's kind of exciting, I guess. And take care. And later. Kids on video. Um, that's, that's really crazy. I don't know why you would, would ever want to do something like that. I do wish... I brought my microphone. I did not bring my microphone, so this video probably sounds really horrible. 
Um, but the location's incredible. And um, it's, uh, <laughs> don't fall off the cliff. And uh, yeah. So. I know. So people come up here and they, they drive their cars, they relax. Um, it's kind of neat. Be careful, guy. Um, so this is probably completely out of focus, but it's such a beautiful location. What a weak ass guy. <laughs>